All right, everybody, what is up? Uh, welcome. Uh, okay, well, first off, um, <laughs> we are basically going to um, kind of recap the last episode first. And so this is spoiler discussion for episode four of Marvel's What If. Uh, unfortunately, last week, we weren't able to do a discussion at all for episode three. Uh, Goss was a little tied up, and we, ha Broly and I had, like, stuff going on, so it just didn't work out at all, and we didn't get around to doing it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, uh, episode three, we're just gonna give our take right now, here and now, and, uh, and then once we're done with that, we'll move on to episode four, because holy shit, episode four was nuts. Yep. 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 Yeah. Um, but uh, I guess I'll go first. Episode three. So episode three is what if the uh, Avengers died? Basically, <laughs> that was the the whole premise. They, that's literally all it was. <laughs> that's yeah. Literally. And so uh, and so yeah. Just real real quick overview. Basically, Avengers dying. They don't know why. Nick Fury is trying to figure it out the whole time. And uh, and yeah. Spoiler for episode three. It turns out that it was uh, Hank Pym. Um, being super salty that I think his daughter died, <laughs> uh, or something like that. But uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, it, it was it was really engaging. It was really interesting to me. Uh, I I I, really, I just like you know, since the What If series is kind of taking this stride now uh, away from Episode Four, where they're they're literally doing random you know one shots of of moments that could could happen. Um, I thought the episode was interesting and. Uh, Overall, I think there, it was unique in ways of how the heroes were dying. I think some of them could have been a little bit better, like Iron Man's or like uh, Hulk's was a little weird. Um, oh, but, he turned into like a giant blob. That was like yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like yeah. Yeah, he exploded okay, and just it was like green goo. I was yeah. like, all right, okay. It was a little weird, but uh, but yeah, for overall for me, I think the episode it was enjoyable because it was like a, a big like, what's going on? What's it gonna be? And I actually called uh, Broly was watching it with me, and I actually called him uh, like earlier on. I was like, oh, what if it's like Ant Man or something like that? Um, right. And turns out I was kind of right, <laughs> but. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the episode for me was it was enjoyable. It, it definitely wasn't as enjoyable as maybe the the first or second episode, uh, but it was still interesting because obviously we have the heroes we care about uh, dying in this strange way, and you kind of want to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I think for me, I probably give it like a six or seven out of ten for me. Uh, but Broly, what do you think? Um, I mean, it's it's. I think it was okay. I had a lot, like, some questions about it. Obviously, you know, it was cool how things were going. Um, you know, like, they, they, they made it seem like it was like, oh, who could it be? Who's killing all these Avengers? And I thought all of them were cool except the way Hawkeye did it. Because he was like, oh, it wasn't me. Like, I don't make mistakes. I don't make mistakes. Like, you would feel your finger come off the thing, right? Yeah. Like, you would think, like, oh, I could, like, something pulled my finger. I felt something pull my finger. Like, it, it's not like something just randomly happened. And so, like, that's where it kind of, like, left me where I don't really believe it. I thought uh, Black Widow in that episode was really, really cool. Even though she ended up dying later on fighting Hank Pym or whatever. Yeah. I thought Michael Douglas was really cool. Like, it, you know, his character and the way he turned evil and, like, the way Nick Fury was kind of like, you know, Loki was Nick, Nick Fury at the end. You know, the, you know uh what is it uh confusing uh hank pym at the end was really cool i like that part he was doing all this like i was even telling him that i was like yo where was this loki in the loki series you know <laughs> like he was actually doing tricks and he was actually like kind of seeming like a little bit of a badass um and and then he was able to use a tesseract like as a as a as like a freeze gun which is kind of cool too I thought it was really cool. Uh, it wasn't my favorite episode. I thought it was the lowest point just because, like, I mean, it, it's a little bit of criticism, and I'll kind of bring it up more about the in the next episode. But the reason why I like two over a lot of these, even though four was really really good, is because two is actually like a different story. It's not following a movie. It's not following a event. It's like. Okay, like a legit what if, like, 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 just comes out of your ass kind of thing. Mm -hmm. These are just kind of like, okay, the movie's playing like this, but what if this happens instead of this, right? Like, yeah, and it's kind of okay, but like, you already know how the events go. 
and episode four was really different like the way it carried on but two i mean three was kind of like you know it's just avengers except there's no avengers so what do you do right so this is kind of like a nick fury episode i liked it i'm gonna say it's a five out of ten it wasn't great it was not my favorite but i really did like the yeah, voice acting I, I felt like everybody was back even you know hearing hulk again was really really cool so um yeah i thought i thought that was good how, how do you how did you like it uh Goss? so i saw this episode uh on the train back from new york with my girlfriend and um i was like i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do for six hours and i was like oh shit that's right the fucking what if episode is out let me fucking watch it mm-hmm. guys i'm gonna be real honest I did not like this episode at all. I fell asleep halfway through the episode. I had to wake up and wait till later on in the day to rewatch the episode because I passed out. Mm. The, the, my, my thing about this episode is to me, this episode felt so rushed comparative to the other two episodes that we've watched so far. Because the other two episodes, even though even though the first episode uh, is just a retelling of you know Captain America instead of but Carter instead of you know uh, Steve, and uh, you know they basically retold the whole first movie over again. They did it in such a fashion that it didn't feel rushed throughout the episode. This episode to me felt so much like just like they couldn't. It, it felt like oh we don't have any more ideas for what if episodes. So let's just make a what if episode when the Avengers died because we don't have any other ideas. And to me, that like it falls super flat to me. Um, the only good points that I have about the episodes were just like watching and seeing. Okay, well, how are like the uh, uh like how is this exactly going to happen? Like, how are the Avengers going to die? Because that eventually you start to realize throughout the episode. Okay. The premise of this is all the Avengers are going to die. So eventually you go throughout the entire episode trying to see like, okay, well, how does this one die? How does this one die? How does this one die? And that's intriguing to me. But the thing is, is that even those kind of fell short for me because it it felt just like, I wouldn't say a cop out, but like, oh, like, it, it, like, oh, Hulk dies because he got, injected with the the worst one was fucking thor dude like thor like like some human arrow pierced the fucking god of thunder (laughs) it's it's literally the most bullshit ways that these like you're talking about a a team of heroes and i mean i guess at this point in time in the the mcu universe these you know these heroes aren't up to par as to like handling Thanos or anything like mm-hmm. that right like there was but this we, is barely the beginning of like the the, the Avengers initiative they mm-hmm. haven't been like you know it's barely the start of this right yeah but right. even but even so even so they're fucked like Thor is a god yeah he's like, fought like he, many, many wars and stuff you know he, he, he's not just some fucking pushover like he he's a god and it just seemed so like they were like just it felt to me like characters that are supposed to be so important to the MCU universe were just like throwaways. Like it, it, it just fell so flat for me, and I, 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 I actually did not enjoy this episode at all. Um, it, I just, it just, I was so lost in in the fact that at how they could do something that when the past two episodes have been completely fantastic in my opinion. Uh-huh. That they would just do something like this. That it the episode seemed super rushed, super all over the place. The way the Avengers died, like, was just com- like you literally after each one dies, you're like, really, dude? Like that? That's how you're gonna kill the Hulk? That's how you're gonna ki- like really? That's how yeah. you decided to do that? And to me, when you mash all of those together, it screams that Marvel was like shit. We ran out of ideas for an, a fucking episode. Let's yeah. just throw all this shit together. I don't. I don't agree. With, I, don't, I don't agree with the Hulk. The only one I had a problem with, like legit, was Thor. Like the other ones, I kind of liked because they actually use, like the Thor one was more of like, oh, we're gonna reference the you know like the Marvel three super right when Ed, when Hawkeye throws his arrow and Hetman's on there right, even though it's kind of switched because he, he flicked his arm. I didn't like the way they explained it. But I didn't mind the way Hulk died because he is supposed to be like 
indestructible. He can't even take a gun in the face, right? Like he's not gonna die. So what what better sense is to like, you know, inject his cells with something that's growing, right? Like, yeah, okay, they're not explaining it very well, they're not doing it very well. I understand that, right? Like that's understand, that's fine. But like I kinda like the way he died. It that wasn't like my issue. My issue is like it just kind of like not, not, nothing really made sense. Like it was just kind of like living in the you know life with these characters uh, as Nick Fury is the point of view. But it was just more of like okay, let's just you know go on and and see how uh, things would be if they died, right? So like I didn't mind it so much, but. Yeah, I yeah. Know. I think the episode overall just the big for me the flaw was the fact that it all the other episodes had like a resolution or something that you can kind of be like oh that's where it stopped and you know and maybe there was a hint of something more but this one was kind of like all the Avengers died and like oh here's Captain America's shield and you know that we can look and forward that's to it. it yeah and, and so so I, th I think that's like why we feel like it's so kind of it falls you know uh, falls short and, is just because and, like there's nothing like really gained nothing like earned or whatever from it like yeah but the, 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 this episode episode four that we're going to go into kind of does it in a better way where it's like yeah that was an, a resolution but it's like a definite resolution you know yeah yeah, yeah. so so the, the the episode three like it it, it I, I give it a 3.5 out of 10 oh, like, yeah. maybe maybe a strong four and honestly like that whole thing with the way that hank pym killed everybody it's like it, it's just it even it even goes to the fact it's like dude you literally killed all these avengers doing all these like crazy hank pym ant-man whatever the fuck he was i don't I, what is he like the the um the wasp or, or not the wasp but the, the hornet or some shit i don't i don't know what the fuck he is yeah like the like, yellow jacket it was yellow oh, jacket. yeah yellow jacket right yeah yellow jacket so it's like if you do all this shit to all these Avengers and you're able to kill them, like you literally are just putting more plot holes and putting more loopholes in the rest of the Avengers because then you think that. because you can yeah I know that but it, it gives the it gives the illusion of like okay well why didn't um, Ant Man just do this to Thanos yeah. like why didn't he why didn't he just do this to all of his other enemies that he was fighting if it was so easy for Hank Pym to fucking kill all these Avengers using all of these fucking gadgets and shit how like. I don't know. I get you. Yep. But, um, all right. So, yeah, that was basically our overview and thoughts on episode three. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to cut these into two different, two separate videos. I think I might. So, um, so yeah, if you guys are at the end of this video, uh, we are going to go directly into episode four, <laughs> as I explained at the beginning. So, um, thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the other one. Uh, and yeah, see you, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> the next video. Next video.